Hello everyone, today I am going to be showing you how to swap the hard drive out on a Dell Latitude E7440. It's pretty simple. Um, so the very first thing you're going to want to do is pop the battery off, just as if you would normally, it's just a sliding, sliding latch. So just pop that off. Once you do that, there are two screws that you just need to remove. Uh, make sure you only re remove those two screws. There are several screws on there, but you only need to reveal the two, you remove the two rather. And once you remove those, you should be able to slide that cover off that's on top. And once you slide that off, it'll reveal your hard drive, it'll reveal your memory and uh, heat sink fan, all that fun stuff. So what you're going to want to do is there are four screws on the hard drive um, that hold the plastic uh, carriage together. So you're going to want to remove those four screws that are in the corners. And once you remove those, it should be fairly easy to, the hard drive um, shell should just pop, kind of pop out, the carriage rather. And once it pops out, all you have to do is remove the SATA connection, and it just pops off. You slide it off, and you get your new hard drive. Go in reverse order, slide it, pop it back into place, and then you can go ahead and put your four screws back, just in reverse order than we did earlier. And you just want to make sure that you're screwing it back into the proper hole. Um, top left, top right, um, bottom left, bottom right. There are extra holes, um, so just make sure you're not screwing in the wrong one. But it, it won't actually um, screw in, so you'll know. I, I made that mistake here in this video, on the bottom left one. I was uh, aiming for the wrong hole here. So... And once everything is screwed back in here, then you can simply pop the top cover back on. It just slides into place. Kind of just slides up. And once you lock that back into place, what you're going to want to do is get those two screws that hold um, that top cover on. And once you screw those back in, then you can go ahead and put your battery back on and it'll just lock into place you know just as if you were swapping a battery at that point point. and there you go